welcome back to the channel. Today we're in Ambleside and we're going to do the Coffin route. So it's the route where we can go from Ambleside all the way to Grasmere and it's a low level walk, ideal for today. It's a bit rainy and it's got a low cloud base. All right, let's look at it on the map. The Coffin route is an ancient high level walkway between the Lakeland villages of Ambleside and Grasmere. We start at the bridge house in Ambleside and work our way towards Grasmere via Nook Lane. Taking the bridge over Scandale Beck, we descend to the path and take the easy and steady path through the parkland to reach the grot in the grounds of Rydal Hall. As we exit the grounds of the hall, we pass Rydal Mount, which was the final home of the poet William Wordsworth. The coffin route then takes a steady high-level path with views over Rydal Water and Grasmere Lake. The trail has several coffin rest points on it and they still remain there today. As we descend, we pass Wordsworth earlier home, Dove Cottage, and soon find ourselves at the finish point and final resting place of Wordsworth, St Oswald's Church. We're just heading across the road here to get started. I'm going to walk to the university campus a bit for the University of Cumbria, and it just takes us away from the noisy road to start off with. On this walk, there's a few things to see. We're going to go past Rydal Hall. We'll have a look at the grot there which is a reading room next to a waterfall. We'll go near the Badger Bar and past Rydal Mount, where Wordsworth spent his last few years. And then we'll see Dove Cottage, where he uh, originally resided in Grasmere. And then we'll also see his grave and his last resting place. Once through the university campus, we're heading down on Nook Lane, and then we're gonna head towards Rydal Hall and then we'll have a look at a few things around there. This walk's not a really long one, it's about two hours, so on a day like today when it's a bit wet and low cloud base, it's a good one to snip out and do. I've come over from Grasmere to Ambleside this morning, so if you want to see a walk around Loughrig, um, which I did a little while ago, I'll put it in the description for you. But yeah. This is Loughrig, just in front of us here. So we're just going to keep on the right hand side of that and we'll go past Rydal Water and we'll go past Grasmere as we head up. On this walk the path's quite stable all the way, you can see it behind me. So there's a couple of sections sort of as you go towards the top where it's a bit more difficult to walk because of tree roots and whatnot but basically you can do it, you know, you can do this in a of trainers if you wanted to. Yeah, it's a little bit of uh, white water there for us. Oh, this is Scandale Beck. It's been doing uh, quite a lot of raining this morning, so that's it coming down the hills. So this bit here is actually where you come on the Fairfield Horseshoe, and then you just head down there onto the route we're going to take now. Got a video on that, so if you want to have a look at it, <laughs> and it's. Uh, I'll put it in the description for you. There we go, look at that. It's more like it. Right, we're actually going down here though. Just wanted to show you the, the view. It's quite impressive. Yeah, it's cracking that. Bit of blue sky popping up there as well. Just getting, giving us a bit of hope. <laughs> uh, Windermere just poking through there. Right, okay, so we're just going to go down here, sort of towards the road, and then we'll pick up the path to Rydal Hall. Might be thinking, well, there's a church in Ambleside, so why go all the way to Grasmere uh, to get buried uh, and it's simply because there may not be any burial grounds in the parish you're in so this is the traditional it's called the coffin route but it's also known as a corpse road where you take the uh, the coffin down 
So it might be because there's no burial plots where you are. So anyway, it's a uh, well-worn route, but a good low level one for daylight today. Here we go. Right, so we're through here and heading down. Look at that. It's getting into autumn now, so the ferns have all given up. <laughs> okay, so we're heading down here and then we're picking up this little path and that takes us to Rydal Hall just up there. want to do this route and then get the bus back it is possible there's fairly frequent buses between Grasmere and Ambleside so that's easily done or you can come back over Loughrigg uh, I've come over Loughrigg this morning so kind of see routes around Loughrigg I'll pop in a couple of video links for you so you can see them all right so we're just meeting the back again here and then we'll pick up this very stable path which is going to take us to Rydal Hall there's Alison there She'll be doing photos. If you want to see some photos of the walks we do, then I'll put a link into her Instagram in the description so you can see that. Few little sheepies. Hello. Big gate, isn't it? Big gate. <laughs> Need some more fluff for winter, yeah, don't you? Look at that, sun is out, beaming away. Looks like it's clearing up actually and we're going to have a good afternoon. So this is about a two hour walk, uh, so it's pretty quick isn't it? Yeah, a nice one to do in the afternoon. You can also uh, get the bus back if you wish as well, so they're fairly frequent. But yeah, we'll go to Rydal Hall and we'll get there in a sec, and then I'll show you around a little bit. We're just going into autumn now, so it's the uh, sort of end of September, and the trees are turning, so we're gonna get some nice autumn foliage coming up over the next few weeks. See a few of the trees there going over to orange. All right, so just over this little style and we're here. Back to the grounds of Bridal Hall now, and you can stay here. You can stay in the hall itself. They have glamping pods, so you can camp here. Um, you used to be able to stay in camper vans, but I don't think they do it anymore because they're saying it's a bit rowdy. <laughs> there's one of the glamping pods just there. There's a few dotted about the place. <laughs> it really blends in that pink. There's another one over there. So there's a few dotted about. It has a few picnic spots. So picnic spot there. So I'm camping further up, um, just on the side here, I'll show you in a sec, but there is a sort of um, permanent tent up. There's the little campground, and there's a permanent, what looks to me like a, I don't know what it is. Let's have a look then. Curiosity's getting me. I've walked past this loads of times, but I've never actually gone up to it, so let's have a little look and see what this is. I think it's a sauna check it out on their website. Do you reckon? When you come in here and it's uh, in the summer, there's a tea room that's generally open as well. So tea shop up there. But an interesting thing that's always here is the grot. All right, this is the grot just down here. A 
There you go, there's the information for it. So it's a grade two listed building, built in 1668, and it provides a window to frame and enjoy the view of the lower Rydal Bet waterfall, which is just there. All right, so we'll get down and have a little look at the reading room. Garden. Uh, there's a very over-engineered <laughs> sort of hinge there, but there we go. Let's get us through. And then there's a couple of things here. Uh, this is the angel. It's a bit of artwork. Just quickly show you this. So it's carved out of stone. Uh, it's a piece of limestone from York Minster. And then just over here as well, we've got a spider in the tree. So I'll just show you that. Oh, so that's the spider. <laughs> a few little things dotted around here. Let's take a little walk through this uh, garden and then we'll get down to the grot. There's a few unusual plants here. There's a massive gunnery there behind me. <laughs> oh, it's a little tunnel under the road and there we are. No swimming. You said you were swimming in there when you were a kid. Must be a new sign. <laughs> Look at that. Well, that is a lovely little reading room. There you go. What a picture that is. Yeah, go around this way. There you go. So we're going to go up. <laughs> Not that way, we're going to go up. <laughs> You're going to Badger Bar, aren't you? <laughs> Badger Bar's just down there. <laughs> right, okay, so we're up here. We'll go up to Rydal Mount, and then we're just gonna take a sort of higher level walk, and we'll be able to see Rydal Water and Grasmere as we're walking along. That's the hole just there. And you can see Rydal Mount just there. Rydal Hall itself, it's a grade two listed building. It's owned by the Diocese of Carlisle. So a bit of a uh, Catholic retreat, but you can always just stay there. You can hire the function rooms there. So uh, quite a busy when I've been there before. This is Rydal Mount, and that's where Wordsworth spent many of his years. So it's his home for 37 years, from 1813 to his death in 1850. A bit later on in the walk, we'll get to Grasmere, and we'll have a look at Wordsworth's final resting place, and we'll have a look at Dove Cottage, which is where he spent some of his earlier life. <laughs> Behind here, actually, um, is the Fairfield Horseshoe which is quite a good one if you pick up the Wainwrights. So I've got another video with that. I'll pop it in the description for you. But we're gonna take the little path here at the side. So there it is. Grass me via the coffin boots. Once we're through here, this is gonna take us pretty much all the way across the side of the fell, and then we'll end up coming down in Grassmere. The path as you walk along it is quite elevated all the way and you've got good views over Rydal Water to start off with and Luff Rig over there. Rydal Caves are just on this side of Luff Rig so I've got another video on those if you want to have a look at it um, but they're quite impressive and in the Wainwright books he says one of them is, is big enough to get the whole population of Ambleside inside. That's probably about 10 people. <laughs> no one lives in Ambleside, it's too expensive. <laughs> That's right, water down there, and then Luff Rig in the background. So there's the view out. Just give you a little look over Rydal Water.
do you think of this walk? I like it. You like it? Yeah. Good one. It says, if this was my last earthly journey along here, I won't mind. <laughs> As you're walking along here, now I've not got a coffin with me, but they're pretty heavy, especially if you're occupied. So there are some uh, rest points that you can put them. There we go. A little coffin rest point. So you can pop your coffee on the top there, and you can have a little sit down there. It's turned into a fantastic day, hasn't it? It's like really nice. This morning it was constant rain on the way to uh, Ambleside but yeah just show you so changeable in the lakes yeah well you can see the cave there so you probably can't see it but the big cave um, the main chamber is just over there for rival caves looks pretty busy from here What are you two doing? <laughs> Just out for a walk. I thought we'd do the coffee routes. <laughs> what are you doing, you two? <laughs> Have another go. <laughs> Mossy tunnel coming down here. Look at that on the wall. So as you can see behind me, the path it is just dead stable all the way. So uh, if it's a wet weather walk, it's good ground conditions down here. Alison's just asking me um, when we did this last because what I tend to do is come down here and there's a turn off point. So rather than walking the whole the coffin route, I kind of do half of it and then turn off towards Rival Water, then walk along that, and then you can go around the edge of Grasmere. So a bit more of a variety. You can do that, I'll show you the turn off point. <laughs> Here you go. Right. There you go, it's the knotty rooty bit of the walk, I always remember this. All the smooth routes where boots have been over them. If you're wondering geographically where I am, I'm obviously between Grasmere and Ambleside. But mountain wise, I'm walking on the side of Nabscar. So uh, it's pretty much that. And the Fairfield Horseshoe is kind of above me to this side. So that's where we are geographically. It's where we are, we're going up here really. And you just come to the end of Rydal Water, which is basically where we are now. And I normally just turn down here, walk along here, and then walk that side of Grasmere. So today uh, we're going to go all the way along, town end, and then to Grasmere. Bit we're getting to now then that is the pretty much end of Rydal Water. Then there's the river joining the two, and then on this side uh, we'll come opposite Grasmere in a sec. I'd normally turn down to Rydal Water here, so it's just here. And if you're looking for it, because it's quite indistinct, it's this house. So as soon as you get to this house, you can go down there, head to the shores of Rydal Water, and then you pick up Grasmere on the other side. But we're not doing today, are we? Yeah. We're going down here. Yeah. There you go. Brockstone Cottage. That's the view out, so Luffrig, just on the other side. Yeah, it's, uh, it's blackberry season, they've gone a bit, ooh, they've gone a bit nuts. They're all over the place here, they're quite rampant. Some are ready.
This, uh, this walk's between five and six miles, so it's an easy one to do. I'll put it in the family walk section of my uh, site, so if you want to see a few similar size ones, easy to do, just have a look in there. I'll put a link into the folder just so you can find it. But yeah, there's a few around this particular area in the central fells. A little bit of autumn fungus in there. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. Yeah, definitely blackberry season now. There we go. Juicy. Coffin roots. It's not that far, so to uh, Rydal one and a third miles so not too bad and we are basically near white moss common so just down here so we're going to go into grass pit now we'll have a look at a couple of things there uh, we need to actually find our way to the church because that is the official end of the coffin route because of course we need to get buried <laughs> and <laughs> when we're down there we'll also have to look at the last resting place of wordsworth and have a look at dove cottage where he spent some of his earlier life on this more wooded route, it's a little diversion. There's a little bench you can see, and you can just divert off there to make it a bit more interesting for yourselves and keep off the main path. So we'll go down here and then we'll quickly be at the village. Right. If you're going down this route, it does take you out at Dove Cottage, which is where Wordsworth lived with his family before it got too big, and then he had to move to Rydal Mount. There's Grasmere. There we go. Someone's capitalising on Wordsworth already. <laughs> There's a fantastic pot display, look at that. Chestnut cottage. Loving the pots. But your mother was dead. There you go, a listening wall. So if you want to listen to some street chat from 200 years ago, <laughs> you can just come here and listen to the wall. So this is Dove Cottage, and Wordsworth was there for eight years with his family, um, from 1799 to 1808, uh, but was forced to move because his family got a bit too big. So he went to Allen Bank in Grasmere, and then ended up at Rydal Mount, where we were before. So from here, we're going to go across the road and enter Grasmere. This is where we are, a busy road, so we're straight down here to Grasmere. Just got a little bumbler there. As we come in here, you can see Helm Crag dominating, and that's the uh, lion and the lamb at the top. Wainwrights, then Helm Crag is part of the Greenburn Round. So you can pick a few up on that one. So I'll pop it in the description. This is just coming into the village then. We get ice cream from here. <laughs> More fudge. Massive bar of kettle and cake. <laughs> Look at the sugar rush you'll get off that. I've gone for the honeycomb. You've gone for the honeycomb as well, haven't you? You get a little chocolate stout in it as well. <laughs> just crossing the bridge then. Uh, St Oswald's Church is just, just here, I'll point it out with my ice cream. <laughs> so go the river and we'll find Wordsworth's grave now, just in there. So it's a grade one listed building. All this part of the church is from around 1300 AD. This is the church that Wordsworth worshipped at for many years. And there he is, a little bit of a portrait. A true philosopher and a poet. There's the church bells there, if you're into a bit of campanology. Sun streaming through that. We're just going up here and Wordsworth grave is just at the back. And the gingerbread shop's just there. And we'll have a look at that in a bit. It's a very famous shop. See, there's a massive queue like there always is. <laughs> okay, so here it is, that one there. William Wordsworth, 1885. Yeah. It's a lovely spot. 
<laughs> it says here that William Wordsworth described Grasmere as the fairest place on earth. Um, but I think he actually describes it as the loveliest spot that man hath ever found. So I think that's the exact quote, but I can check it. If you're in Grasmere, then it's a must to go to the gingerbread shop, so I'll just show you that. There you go. It is autumn and it was absolutely tipping down earlier, so it's the first time I've seen it without a massive queue. Hi, oh, yeah. let's get a six, please. Brilliant, thank you. Okay. Yeah, that's great, thank you. Okay, so I've got my gingerbread, and this is my friend Jack the Jackdaw. So we're just going to go off to the pub. So thanks for watching the video all the way to the end. If you enjoyed it, then it helps me if you click on the like. And if you want to see more of these, click on subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Right, let's head to the pub. Just popping into Tweedies.